coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Anicia Antoine and this is your midday News Brief. The St. Lucia Cabinet of Ministers met with officials from the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, and the World Health Organization, WHO, to discuss ways to improve the health sector. During the coming financial year, the government will invest EC $162 million in the health of St. Lucians at all levels. While it is easy to focus on the OKEU and St. Jude hospitals, a lot of work has been going on behind the scenes to ensure that clinical and non-clinical service standards move towards meeting international standards and sector best practices through consultation with the Pan American Health Organization, the World Health Organization and the Caribbean Medical Labs Foundation. To achieve the strategic health outcomes over the medium to long term, the Department of Health and Wellness will focus on the design and implementation of a national health insurance, strengthening of primary and public health, implementation of a quality assurance framework and full commissioning of the national hospitals. Prime Minister the Honourable Alan Chastney has accepted the resignation of Minister with Responsibility for the Public Service Dr. Eubaldus Raymond with immediate effect. In a statement, the Prime Minister said the decision was taken in the best interest of all parties and the country. Honourable Chastney said, quote, Dr. Raymond has served our country well and in several capacities, including Leader of Government Business in the Senate and previously as Minister in the Ministry of Finance, end quote. The Prime Minister went on to thank Dr. Raymond and his family for his years of service to the nation. Prime Minister Chastney, however, emphasized that the acceptance of the resignation in no way affects the ongoing investigations as the government remains committed to bringing closure to this matter. St. Lucia Jazz and New York's Jazz at Lincoln Center are collaborating to bring to St. Lucia what is described as the most exciting and authentic jazz journey. From the 4th to the 12th of May 2019, the entire island will fire up with Caribbean jazz, a nautical jazz excursion, Grammy award-winning performers, and the first gospel-inspired jazz brunch. St. Lucia Jazz will commence with West Coast Jazz at the Ancillary Waterfront and will culminate with a gospel brunch at Shangri-La. The reconfiguration of the event, according to Event St. Lucia's Chief Executive Officer, Thomas Leos, was largely the result of a reduced budget. However, he assured that the new configuration will in no way affect the other summer festivals. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.